Okay, so let's do an iPhone uh, 7, which is not turning on. We need to check what is wrong with it. This is from a different store. They send it as a made in repair. And we need to find out what's going on with it. I'm surprised that all the plates are still in there because usually when we get it from another store, they don't put any plate in there. Which means this shop is doing good. Screws and plates are very important. You have to have them in their phone. The manufacturer has put them for a reason. So you cannot say we this phone doesn't need a screw. Everyone need it. Every phone does need it. Okay. Very first thing we're going to check the voltage on the battery. You can see on the top right corner. Let me see. All right, the multimeter is set on the top, which is on voltage so let's see how many volt we have in the battery battery is really flat maybe it's flat or maybe it's on protection mode like we just need a little bit boost okay it's not taking amp as well battery is no good that is for sure okay we're going to test the shot on the board so multimeter on diode mode positive to ground and negative okay diode mode reading is okay and let's check vcc main this is short so this phone has a VCC shot. How we check the shot is on the VCC. Look at the screen on the top left. That's my DC power supply. So you're gonna put positive to positive and negative to negative. And before pressing the power button, it's taking amp. It was taking 1.3 amp, which means it has a shot onto the main power supply. Maybe that is why that this battery is gone because the shot is taking all the voltage out from the battery and battery is not even taking charge all right we need to go on to the bottom section over here Because when we put the battery in here, battery voltage goes from here and it goes to a MOSFET somewhere here. I need to check which one is it. So we just need to go to microscope. I'll show you from the schematic how it looks like from there. All right, so this is the board for the iPhone 7. So if you look at over here, when we connect the battery, the positive section, it goes to this MOSFET over here, which is called PPV bat. See at the bottom over here, which this MOSFET transferred into VDD main, and that's where the shot is. So we just need to, if we check with the injecting voltage, obviously this uh, MOSFET gonna get hot because this is a bridge. So we do, we're not gonna remove this and do anything to this one. We're just gonna check the shot after this one and see which area is getting hot. And how do we gonna check that? So you, we can check that on this cap or this cap anywhere. Okay, let's go to the scope. And the voltage has to be 4.2. See the top left 
my DC power supply, I'm setting it to 4.2. That is enough. And I have increased the amp. My DC power supply goes up to 20 amp, which means it works as a short killer as well. So there's a good chance we can just take, take off the short just by attaching the voltage. Otherwise, we can just uh, find out where the fault is. Okay, so this is the MOSFET, and we can check. Actually, this is the MOSFET, and that's the Tigress. Now we can check that onto this cap on the other side over here. So we're gonna put negative to negative, and ground we're gonna do, and we're gonna see the DC power supply. Yeah, it's taking 1.3, and after that, I'm gonna check. Is something getting hot? Okay, I'm gonna leave it connected for a couple of seconds. Okay, it's getting hot somewhere on the top. The another way we can do, we can do free spray, we can do, what's it called? The thermal camera and everything, but we can use a thinner as well. First, I'm gonna check the bottom part if something is getting hot on this side. which I think is not. You can see something is getting hot on over here. So let's take this shield off. And we can make this all wet. We can check on ZXW. On this section here, the somewhere here is going to get hot. Maybe. So we're still gonna inject the volt over here, but we're gonna see the reaction onto the other side if there is any. So let me show you. So we're going to inject volt on the same cap over here. And we're gonna see the reaction somewhere here if there is any. Otherwise, we have to use the free spray or the thermal camera. Okay, I can see something is, just look at this IC over here. See the thinner is moving? It means short is somewhere here. Haji. Okay, if we look at the schematic, this area is getting hot. So the problem is could be these two capacitor over here, the IC, or one capacitor here on the top. Most probably is going to be one of these two capacitors. 
So how are we going to figure it out? We're going to zoom in. And carefully watch which thing is exactly getting heated up. Now we can use a flood cam with this one, but this is another method as well. So we're going to put positive to perp. the over here. This is a positive as well. And we come back. And we're going to test the negative. Okay, I need more room. It is actually the IC, the first one is getting hot. Okay, I'm going to give it one more shot to exactly figure out Actually, let's get the free spray. Okay, free spray is on place and okay, so I see. And let's check what I see is this one. So we go to here, this is U23. Zero one LCM VDD boost. All right, now what we're going to do is uh, I have set up this one on a holder so we're gonna take off the ic and check if the shot is gone I see it's lifted up. We just need to clean this area, like all those balls over here, underneath. And now we're going to inject the volt. You can see the DC power supply on the top left corner and see if it's getting any amp or not. So we're gonna in check the voltage here. Okay, it is not taking any amp, which is good. 
but we're not gonna just put i leave all the same ic put it back on or put a new ic we're going to check the diet mode reading on to the vxw over here it's not vxw this is something else um my another screen on that side so i'm just gonna look over there diet value u2301 Okay, it's not there, so we have to check the VFW. Okay, so we got this one over here. So we're gonna check the diet mode reading for all these pins. So make sure we're gonna put the motherboard according to the picture over there, the position of the motherboard. And we're gonna put positive to ground and negative over there. Let me see if my multimeter is good and running. Okay, positive to ground. The first pin is ground, which is okay. All top ones are ground, which is fine. And the border one is 330 is doesn't have to be exactly it's close enough it's fine 330 480 which is all right 410 so we're going to check all one by one so let me show you the microscope as well here we are checking the reading Three, 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 yeah. Two, three, four, okay. These two pins are ground, which are not meant to be ground, okay. So let's go back to, we're talking about this one, 380, 380 on the bottom, which means we open up the, this one over there. VDD boost is short. Uh, I miscalculated a little bit anyway so which means we need to inject the voltage over here on a VDD boost and see which tab or something is getting hot alrighty Okay, and we're not going to inject 4.2, we just inject 2.8, just to be on the safe side. Okay, let's go to the scope, and you can see the multi, uh, my DC power supply is 2.8, and we're going to inject the voltage on here. Something is taking one point nine M. And which card is taking? We don't know yet. Okay. So let's double check again. Let, you wanna see the 
VCC main has a short now. No, it does not have a short. And now we're going to see the VDD main has a short now. Not the VDD main, the VDD boost. It does have. And which part is getting hot? It is getting hot somewhere over here at the bottom. Which means so we're going to inject the voltage over here and see the reaction on the bottom side of the board. One, two, and these two. Okay, the first one and this one. Okay. So this is the one. And we come over here, zoom out a little bit. Something is getting 1.9. not here so we go back over here what we can do we can see the close by area so we need to know where we need to focus so over here is only this ic and this cap over here which means we just need to focus over here only and that part is uh, okay So we go to the scope. This cap over here. Maybe this cap, maybe this IC. How about it could be another side? Okay, we can check on the another side, which means lock it. this one over here ah uh, this is definitely the problem this is definitely the problem this one over here because i can see this cap over here is a bit rusted so whoever opened this one before another shop they did damage this component and after that it did not turn on okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna take this one off and now we're gonna check if there's any shot onto this line over here no there's no shot and any shot on the VDD main, there is no shot. So the only thing we need to do now is put back the IC which we took taken out from here and test if it's working or not. Now what have happened so far? Let's have a look at the VXW tool over there.
Okay, so what was happening over here? ZXW. I always say ZXW, but this is something else. Okay, the previous shop, whatever he was doing, he knocked off this cap, and after that, the phone did not work. So when we checked the voltage from the battery over here, it was showing the VCC main is short, which is the supply goes from that IC to here, and from here it converts, and after that it goes to the VDD boost. And because VDD boost is actually next to that line, uh, it's really hard for me to explain. Like VDD, VDD boost was the exact short, but it, the shot was showing onto the VCC main. So this is the thing. If we just see whatever the IC is getting hot, we just take off that IC, put it back in, the shot going to come back. So you just always have to make sure that the IC you've taken out, is it the, definitely the one you, is, which is faulty or is maybe something else? And we figure out the actual line was, this one was faulty, and that line was coming through the VDD main, and the VDD main is coming through the VBAT, is over here, which is goes to the battery connector. So we check the battery connector, there's a short. And after that, we check the VDD main, there is a short. And after that, with the VC, VDD boost, there is a short. Anyway, it could have been more simple just by inspecting the motherboard and making sure there's no component damage or something like I could see that um, cap over there was damaged. Anyway, so what we're doing now is gonna reball that IC, put it back in, and see how we go. Okay, this is the IC, so we're going to put this flux on, take off the old solder balls from there. And get any stencil which is very close to that one. I think this will do. Even though it's got an extra leg over there, it does not matter. We're just gonna use the four leg, which is really low. There we go, have some paste. Hold it with the tweezer. Start giving it a heat a little bit. Always start from the side. And it is very important after this reball, you put a flux in there again and you re hot these balls again. Reheat. One of my YouTube uh, viewer he corrected me. He says it's not re hot, it's reheat. Okay, this is done. Let's take off this extra piece of kit from there. Mm. 
bring the motherboard make sure the IC place is all cleaned Put some flux over here and make sure the orientation of the IC is correct. I remember the, the dot was on this side over there, so which is fine. There we go. This is done. Now, after attaching this one, before we turn it on, what we're going to do, we're going to check again if there's any short or not. So let's check the dark mode reading again with my multimeter which is positive to ground this is negative another side is reading is 4030 which is fine and now we check with the dc power supply now you have to see on the top left corner it has to be 4.2 and now positive to positive negative to negative yeah, there is no shot. If it does not consume amp without pressing the power button, which means the VDD is not short. Okay, in the meantime, what I did was I put the battery onto the charger like this. Maybe it will work. We're not sure. We can check the voltage on this one. Or we can try to inject the voltage and see if it's taking anything now. No, it is not. So we're going to test it with the new battery. Okay, let me grab the battery. This is iPhone 7 battery and we're going to test the voltage into this one before we check because maybe the battery is flat and we're going to waste our time diagnosing this, this, this. Okay, this has to be on voltage. Come on, 3.8, enough, more than enough. Ah, I'm still using old battery. Try a new one.
There we go. Apple logo is in recovery. Maybe they didn't try to do something. Okay, there's another thing. So what we have to do now is We have to try taking off from the recovery. Okay, so on PU tool, I have exit recovery and see if it's going to recovery again. No, it's not. That's another thing, instead of fully flashing the phone, try to get kick, kick this out from the recovery mode and see if it works. Uh, your view is not good. You have to do on the top here. Okay, the phone is already reset no it's not did you see just what happened okay yeah there's no data so it means it or oh, the 3u tool is on so it has just activated it automatically and there's no iCloud on it that is fine so this is the thing so if you have missed that diet mode reading in the beginning under the boost IC it, the fault of getting the PP VDD main shot gonna come back again and again. So it's better to follow the diagnostic process and get things done just in one go. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.